Hello everyone, it's Alina from Exomate Mastery here, and today I want to discuss the iPad version of Xactimate. I get asked a lot, how in the world do you use the iPad version? How do you save time using it? Um, don't you find it hard to use? So many different questions I get asked. So today I'm going to focus on the things that I think it is useful for and what I think it's not useful for. So I'm going to show you my screen on my iPad and uh, discuss some of these things. So let's go take a look. What I would like to go over today is the best use or the high points of the iPad or mobile version. Um, there's a lot of great things about it and there's some really weird things about it that aren't useful uh, as well. So uh, this isn't a tutorial on how to use the iPad, it's just the best practices for using it out in the field that I find to be time-saving devices. So here we're at the home screen or the local projects. I'm just going to open up the project here. And when you're writing the estimate, it's kind of different than what it's like on the online or desktop version. So you've got this required information here. All that is is the claim info tab pretty much in Xactimate, uh, desktop or, or online. The sketch screen here is a combination of the sketch and estimate items screen. So if I go over here and I tap on that items icon, I can add macros here. I can add a variety of line items, I can search as you can see here at the bottom. So one of the first time savings tips I would say would be for you to build the estimate in the desktop or online version. Build the estimate meaning fill out the claim info tab, get that going. Import your eagle view or other roof measurement report and get that in your sketch. And then load this up onto your iPad by downloading it uh, from the cloud. So if you don't have a roof here, so if I delete this roof that I have on my estimate, and now I've got a room, and by the way guys, this is one of the reasons I don't use this for sketching, because I'm really bad at it. <laughs> so I'm going to delete off that roof, I think I can hit delete down there, yeah. So now we don't have anything, you won't have um, anywhere to place the items, so it's kind of strange. Uh, you, ha you usually have to have a room or a roof uh, plan in order to place the items here, and uh, otherwise it's kind of hard to build the estimate. So that's what I found. If I'm wrong on that, feel free to comment below. Honestly, I don't use this uh, iPad version as much as I, I should if we're estimating purposes. I usually only use it to take pictures. So that's what I'm getting at, guys. The best practices I found is by going to the photo section. This is where I found it to really save time. And it took me a bit to kind of get used to the navigation here, but if I go up to the top right corner where it has the plus sign and tap that little plus, we've got an option of either accessing photos from the camera or the library. I've got a camera. I'm going to just snap a photo of little Yuki here. There's a little kitty in the office. So we've got Yuki. I'm going to add that to our estimate here. And here's... Not only does it add it to the estimate straight away to prevent you from having to take it from your phone, put it on your desktop, upload it to import it into Xactimate. That's a very long, arduous process and really makes me mad. <laughs> so this cuts out all of that because this goes straight into the estimate at this point. And then also if I go into the image itself, I can tap on the photo description and actually use the voice to text to um, create my photo description. I actually get pretty detailed with my photo descriptions here in Xactimate. Yeah, I'm a fast typer, but voice to text, you can't beat that. So we're just going to tap that there. Hail damage found at the kitty. There we go, little Yuki now. Hopefully we'll be identified for our Yuki. That's the name of the kitty. You can also use the voice to text on the name as well, but today we'll just put number one. That's fine. The other thing you can do is tap on the photo and actually draw on the photo so I can point out the damage. I can say the hail damage was here and use this like you would in Xactimate. And they have a variety of different um, annotations that you can do. We could go ahead and put Yuki's name in here and be done with that. So there's a couple of different ways that you can use the annotations, which is kind of cool, and I like that feature as well. So there's, I can mark it up out in the field and not have to wait to get back to the office in order to add my annotations. So that's pretty much the biggest time-saving device, I would say, for the mobile version as a whole, is the 
talk to text and then the ability to add the photos directly into your report and then I would go back to the office and I would go ahead and load this back up to the cloud because again I'm a lot faster in the desktop version than I am in this version so I can just go back send it back up to the cloud here and that's done and I can call it a day. This has been Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like the video, please press the like button. Also subscribe below for our weekly tips. If you'd like more information on what XM8 Mastery is about, be sure to visit www.xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys have a great week in your business, and I'll see you next week.